Oh, it looks good. As good as the 70 flies, this one feels and just flies even better. A little bit more predictable. And it can snap. Oh, it can snap. Wow. wow. Did you see that? <laughs> Looks good. Don't stall, baby. Don't stall. Oh, I got How low, low on this. I got low. Go? I got low on a maiden flight. That is uh. so, so bad. I shouldn't have gotten that low. I want to do another one of those crazy snaps. You ready for this? Born and ready. Look at you. There's my alarm too. Look at that crazy snap roll. I have to say I'm quite jealous of some brothers across the pond that got their Viper. Sorry, I, had, I hope you guys aren't offended. The Patrinsic Bros, they had theirs on their channel way before we could and I'm a little jealous because this Viper 90 millimeter holds a very special near and dear place in my heart. By the way, love the Patrinsic Bros. You guys are just funny and you bring a fresh breath of air into the hobby. And if anyone's watching, go over and say hi to them, watch their Viper uh, video and tell them the RC Sailors just said, hey, I'm excited to fly this. The Viper was actually my first 6S EDF that I've ever flown, the uh, smaller version. And so this is a very special moment in time for me to fly the brand new 90 millimeter version. I've seen a couple videos of it flying. I wonder from who? <laughs> and it is exceptional. They, they love theirs. A uh, little bit of a unique release on this, which is why they got theirs out just a little bit early. And um, I'm excited to join the club, basically, is what I'm saying. Hopefully, you guys are pumped to see this fly, and let's all remember what this hobby is about before we take off. At least, in my opinion, it's having fun. So let's have some fun and put this in the air. I feel like that accent was Russian. Are they Russian? Oh, uh, there's a horrible accent. They're, they're not Russian. <laughs> Of course, I say that with all due respect. I actually really like those guys, and hopefully, you don't take offense to my horrible, like, Russian accent. I know you're not Russian. I don't think you're Russian. You're <laughs> we, not don't, we don't know. I know you're not American. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're just jealous. Just yeah. say it. You're jealous I'm, that they got it I'm first. I'm happy for them, but also jealous. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not afraid to admit that. Uh, this jet is waiting to be clear for takeoff. We cannot take off until you like the video. So please like the video so I can fly. Okay, that's long enough to like the video. Let's go. I'm at half flaps and I'm extremely pumped. Safe should be on if I did it right. Oh man, that sounds good. That's beautiful. I put my flaps up and guys, we're dealing with some wind. Your flaps wind. or your retracts? Um, my flaps. I okay, still have the wheels okay, 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 okay. I'll tell. put the wheels up on this next pass. Oh, this is nice. And it sounds good. I'll shut up on this. The wind pass. picked up right when oh, you. Oh yeah, it's really windy. So this is full is. safe on, but I will kick it off in just a minute. Let's go a little slower and let's put those wheels up when we get just a little closer to see it. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, that's nice. The little door on the front. I can't believe it went that slow. Yeah, wow. kind of like the slower retracts. Very nice. It looks good. The lights look amazing on this Viper. Oh, I love this. This is a maiden flight and it is flying so rock solid on rails. This maybe could be your first 6S Don't. flight. Oh, first 6S, not first ever. Safe <laughs> off. And there we go. Woo. Yeah, safe is off. I just wanted to make sure it felt good up at this higher altitude. It really, truly does. Look at that crazy color difference in the sky. Look at that, you guys. What kind of cloud is that? What? What is that? That long white streak, that, that is a cloud. That's not a uh, contrail, right? <laughs> I don't know. We've had some crazy weather today. Storms have been off and on all day. Okay, this is sweet. Full throttle pass with Nate being quiet. Here we go. Oh, it looks good and it feels really good at the controls. No surprises with this Viper 90 millimeter. Sometimes you put a plane up in the air and you are dealing with things on a maiden flight. Nothing to be dealt with on this maiden but fun. And 
It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway, bigger planes just fly better. So as good as the 70 flies, this one feels and just flies even better. A little bit more predictable. And it can snap. Oh, it can snap. Wow. wow. Did you see that? Wow. Oh, Whoa. Are you like, are you okay up there? Yeah, I just kind of stalled with safe. safe that was safe terrifying. Safe with the stall was a little bit off and that gusty wind, but did you, I, I had to kick safe That was on. like a ballerina in the yeah. sky. I don't know what just that happened. That was kind of insane. <laughs> Guys, this thing is so nuts. That was a really cool maneuver. I'm going to try to do that again because I've never had oh. my other Viper toss and turn like that in the air. I'm that was scared. really cool. We have to do it again. It was fun. <laughs> I'll do it hopefully a little easier to see at this angle. Get some throttle up and then we will climb and snap it again. You ready? Look at that. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Let's kick safe on and throttle up some. <sighs> Wow. You're brave, well, but you are pretty high up I am there. Very high up. <laughs> that was cool because my old Viper, the uh, 70 millimeter, doesn't have that much roll authority. The ailerons on this, paired with that rudder, really, really can knock this thing around. And safe on a switch is just a beautiful thing, you guys. I love it. I love the confidence that it helps build in pilots to learn maneuvers that you might not try to do without having that safe switch. And AS3X and all of it just makes it so much more enjoyable. It's just more enjoyable. It just is a prettier flight. But then you can always turn that stuff off if you really want to get the whole like mechanical feel for the plane, you can turn all that stuff off. Let's go safe back off, give it a nice little roll into a loop. This thing just sounds awesome. The bigger the EDF, the better it sounds. <laughs> you start really sounding. I think you're at like four and a half or four or the something like that. The beautiful thing too, Abby, is we have telemetry okay. on this flight. Now, I'm flying on a Gen 2 smart battery, which is awesome, um, but it is a 30C. So I think that if we had a 50C or a 100C battery in this jet, we could get a little bit more punch on these full throttle flybys. This is not full throttle. But man, it's beautiful. Beautiful EDF. They they took one of their best planes. They made it bigger and better. And those lights are so bright, especially that one on the bottom and the one red on the top. Okay, so what's one of our favorite things to do with the 70 millimeter? Spaceship mode. Safe mode, <laughs> flaps full, and let's see what we got here. <clears throat> are we entering spaceship mode? Yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Don't stall, baby. Don't stall. Oh, I got How low on this. I got low. Go? I got low on a maiden flight. That is uh. so, so bad. I shouldn't have gotten that low on my first low speed pass with my flaps at full. I was just I ready for you to drop. Ah, I know. Just completely drop. Some things just shouldn't be done on a maiden flight. That's my five minute timer hitting. Now this is a recommended 4,000 to 7,000 milliamp battery and I've got a 5,000 milliamp in here. So I'll be curious to see where our telemetry kicks in. And I, I really want to push it to that point of getting my low voltage alarm, but I need to be ready to land when I hit that. So we can really get an accurate flight time on this. Cause I, I 5,000 milliamp is about as big as I really have. So I want to do another one of those crazy snaps. You ready for this? Born and ready. Look at you, there's my alarm too. Look at that crazy snap roll. How it Man, falls, awesome. how it's, how it just starts going nose down. That's what's scary to me. Well, that's me, I'm kind of. Oh, it's scary looking. Okay, so that was my alarm, but it was at full throttle. So what we're gonna do is put our landing gear down now. I wanna give it a pass since my alarm's not going off and we're gonna count three tires. <laughs> <laughs> three wheels, one up front. I see all three, that's good. Let's see if we can get a smooth-ish landing. Flying the Viper 70 millimeter is one of my favorite things to fly. I fly it all the time. And so hopefully this can get a nice smooth landing too. I think we'll land at, let's just do full flaps on the landing, right? Get it nice and slow, hopefully. Yep. There's full smooth flaps, safe butter. on. I'm gonna try my best. Fighting a you little bit of wind, but let's stop with the excuses and just get you a nice smooth it. landing. Ooh, look at that wind. And hear the cows rooting the for you. The cows me. are rooting for you. Oh, and that was, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You could call that a three-point landing with a bounce. 
<laughs> it wasn't bad. I Should was I try good. one more? Nah, the battery's no, a little low. The battery's a little battery. low. I'll take it. That was a good, kind of hard three point landing. Look at those bright lights. These lights are, at least in my opinion, significantly brighter than a lot of the airplanes I own. Those are very bright lights. And I want to show you this while it's on. Look at the bottom. Just the one light? That, that's what Just, I'm talking about. Well, I guess you can see the other lights though, too. Yeah, but this one's super bright. Yeah. I have to say, I'm not disappointed. Uh, I need to work on it. I gotta watch more of their videos. I'd like to hear them try to impersonate me. Oh, and by the way, Bo Week will keep happening tomorrow. We had to interrupt Bo Week because oh, yeah. we were finally able to release content on this. Sorry about that, Bo Week <laughs> watchers. <laughs> I forgot about that. This did not disappoint. It's absolutely a blast to fly, and I can just imagine how much fun it's gonna be when there's not 10 to 15 miles an hour of wind. But a maiden for the books, if I do say so myself. I mean, I came out with one battery, and usually maidens make me pretty nervous, but I think because this is just a bigger version of one of my favorite things to fly ever, uh, <laughs> I was just more excited than nervous to fly it, and rightfully so. It is a blast. I can see why people that have had their hands on this already are very excited about it. I'm excited about it. I'd like to fly it again, Abby. I know that you could fly this with confidence. I know you're laughing about it and maybe don't want to, but I know you could fly it. So if you're looking for a new EDF in your life that is just a head turner, I love the bright red on here. Although the blue very much looks like an official RC Sailor airplane, if I do say so myself, this red just pops so much better. It looks good and it performs extremely well. I love it. If you wanna see more of the tech specs on this plane, linked in the description box below. Know that if you use that link to order this plane, it helps support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you. It means the world to us and we thank you. Also, if you need a battery or a charger or another airplane while you're there, you can use this link. It'll take you to this plane and then buy your other plane while you're there. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Check this out too. When I was putting this plane together, there are some unique things like these dorsal fins. The way they go on is kind of like the way the missiles are installed on other planes. On previous planes, I have to like glue those in place and the uh, wingtips also do that as well. So they just kind of snap in place. I thought the build, Abby said that she was surprised how fast I put this together. So I, I kind of was too. <laughs> A massive thanks to God for giving us maybe not the best day to fly on, but a good enough day, so thanks. <laughs> and also a big thanks to our Patreon supporters for just being you. You believe in us and our channel, and you show it, you prove it, and we thank you so much. We'll have my other favorite Viper video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.